it has been a very long time in coming, but I finally figured out how to convert these internal screw type motors from the 400, 500, 600 series <clears throat> into low voltage. So this one's slightly out of balance, as you can see by the wiggle there. That's just a shaft inside that I had to uh, MacGyver really to do, get it to work. But I, I know the solution now for the real ultimate solution. But we have, it's super quiet. The click will go away once it's in balance. But I'm quite excited about this. So I'm gonna throw it in the machine and compare and see how it works. One second, be back shortly. Well, unfortunately, it's not quite as quiet as it, as it will be because the motor is, or the, the shaft is slightly out of balance, as I said before, but it works. And I can get super slow control. I, I know I had the uh, hopping foot on. You can hear the different. You can hear the compare the hopping foot noise. The motor will be much quieter once it's done. But it's working, so I'm very happy. Fun, huh? You can see I've just, I'll eventually put the cable out here where in the normal plug, but at the moment I've got the low voltage going out there. And then I'll hook up the light as well, so it'll be a 12 volt light. So I have made the change, and you can see it doesn't look any different there. Oop, hopefully it's in focus. But now, when we run it, full speed, no wobble. It does sound a bit noisy, but that's because I've got this on still. So let's just remove the hopping foot, because that is in its own right quite noisy. And let's see if this gets any different. <laughs> so we've still got the zigzag going, so let's put it in straight mode. But you have to remember, we are here um, with the machine cover open. And here is just the typical mechanism. But if we shut this part, maybe it'll be even quieter. No, most of the noise is from under there. But that's ah, not bad for, you know, the speed it's going at. It's just those are the feed dogs, that's the noise it makes. I think maybe you uh, hear the uh, bobbin case, that's really the noisiest. You can hear the motor running, actually. Let's do that. Let's release. That's just the motor itself. So 
So there's at the slow speed. It's got a bit of a purr. Maybe that is. I think there's something in that the channel there. I'll clean that off and then that probably that click will go away. Beyond that. So that click. Hmm. But that's hardly a problem. I mean it's a super quiet machine. They did say that the free arms of this version are noisier than the flatbed. Yeah, I think that's probably true. At any rate, we've done it. It works. And it's now low voltage, and I get full power, full control. And the machine is happy. Bye for now. Okay, Dumbo here. Just noticed that because it's this type of motor, it's spinning in the opposite direction than the normal wiring, so I had to spin it around. It was spinning backwards, so of course that gave the extra click. And here it's no click now. That makes sense. And you'll notice, it's a lot quieter. That makes more sense. I couldn't understand why it was so noisy. That's better. That's interesting, just the very nature of those gears meshing gives that hum sound, which we're not used to. But anyway, it's lovely. I okay, so... Dumbo here just realized that I hadn't put the gear on in the right location. It's got to be specifically in the right place so it doesn't drag. And that's why I was making that gr loud noise. So you can hear it now. As soon as I grab the front, right? That's a little more like it, isn't it? I was just wondering why the gears made so much noise. It was just stupidy me. So there you go. It's lovely. Nice and quiet. And very powerful. Not to be abused, of course. You're not going to sew through stupid stuff because this is a great machine. But we have lots of delicious control. If we want to go slightly slower than we'd have to adjust the voltage, but I have another setting on the foot that can be adjusted to get it even slower than that. But that's pretty good speed. Anyway, you could do this that low speed for hours. You could literally do this as slow as I can get it at the moment, not under load, but you could do that for hours and it won't get overheated. So I'm quite happy. Anyway, hope you found that interesting. I tell a lie, it's just very sensitive, so if you use a bigger foot controller you can actually get it slower. I can get it down there, but it's mighty touchy. But with the Vigor foot controller that I'm going to use, it's probably possible to keep it steadily at that speed. Certainly there's a setting I could use as well to make it easier to manage. And of course you can just... There you go, I can get that speed, which is perfectly, that's the slowest. But I'd add that as into a setting automatically to do it at the slowest setting there. So it's super amazing, isn't it? To be able to control that and not have it overheat. Okay. So I wanted to show you some proof of the pudding. We'll be going through some eight layers of denim in some places across seams. And I just wanted to show you how well it works.
does bind occasionally, but that's okay. Considering the strength it has now compared to what it used to. I'm happy with that. Here's four layers of denim. Got my phone on the stand so it's a bit more wobbly. I just wanted to whiz this out quickly and show you what could be done. So, but head over the pleats. And then we'll be going over a seam as well. So we're going through a minimum of six layers, eight layers on this part here. You have to remember this is an aluminium wheel, so it doesn't have any weight to uh, help it go through these layers of fabric. It's literally just the motor doing the work with the gears. And Almost at the end. I was just making repair because my stitching pulled out before from when I made this a long time ago. I thought I'd better get around to actually fixing it. Just too close to the seam. Last stitches should be fine. Let's ease this in. to the end of the stitching here just to make sure that it's held in from where I pulled out the old stitches. Now we're going to go through a whole whack of thick layers here. Yeah, we'll just, whoop, just broke the needle. Yay! But anyway, a little overzealous there, but as you can see, it worked perfectly. Great job, eh? I'm very happy. Anyway, Hope you enjoyed that. Bye for now.